just printed a picture of um, Ali Khamenei and drew a stop sign on it. Uh, a couple of guys approached us, they attacked us and they wanted to hit us and they were like, oh you cannot dis disrespect our leaders. Almost eight months after, uh, me and my fiancé's apartment were, uh, was uh, raided by the general security forces. They put a bag over my head and I was taken I don't know where. I was getting interrogated for seven days. Uh, finally, I was released in August um, eight, after 18 days in total. After they released me, they didn't give back my passport and they said that referred me to the Iranian embassy for deportation. So this is when I finally came to the UNHCR the next day and I explained the whole situation. We haven't heard anything from them, unfortunately. Uh, initially, UNHCR had told us that they're going to do uh, their best, they're going to do whatever they can to get my passport back from, UNH from General Security. I decided to go on a hunger strike for, uh, with another Iranian refugee. It's been nine days now. We've been sleeping here, we haven't eaten anything. But unfortunately, we, no one from UNHCR has approached us. No one has come to say, hey, how are you guys doing? Are you guys alive? Why are you guys dead? You know, nothing. Even when we try to contact embassies, uh, even Norwegian embassy where, where my wife is from, um, they wouldn't allow us to go to Norway because they simply said that you don't have a passport. And one of the requirements is to have a passport. So we're stuck here. I am stuck here.